What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, welcome back. My name is Zedric L. Hicks Jr. One more time. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. You know why you're here. You're here to listen to me talk about that smell good. That's right. That smell, smell good. All right. All right, so today's uh, video is a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about some of the newer fragrances that are getting ready to hit retailers or discounters and come online um, that are not in stores yet. Um, I follow a lot of fragrance um, uh, accounts, so to speak, on Instagram and on Twitter. So there's a few fragrances that are on their way out, and um, we're going to talk about them. Let's talk about some of the no's, what I think, and you know what maybe to expect. But if we, before we do any of that, you know, again, please, if you like what you're hearing, um, you come back for your second, third, or fourth time to see what I'm talking about. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below. Um, hit the bell um, and it'll notify you every time I drop a new video and uh, hit that thumbs up for me what that does is that pushes um, my videos to other um, YouTube fragrance algorithms and um, gives pe other people opportunity to uh, you know uh, listen to what we're talking about all right all right so first up on the list we're going to talk about one that's probably going to be one of the most super hype fragrances to date okay and reason being is because this fragrance is by Fenty all right when I say Fenty that's right I'm talking about none other than Rihanna's line all right her brand the Fenty brand that is makeup and lingerie and then it looks like not looks like they're gonna take their stab out of fragrance okay okay out of fragrance now this fragrance is slated to be an EDP uh, Eda Parfum, all right, it's said to be unisex. It's going to be called Fenty Fenty, all right? So um, I'm going to place that bottle right up here so you can see what it, you know, uh, is going to look like. Um, some of the main accords, and I did see a review video of a sample from a young lady. I forget her name, but she's on Instagram. And um, she broke down her sample, and um, she said it was cool. She said it was good. Um, she said she expected it to be more than what it was, but I don't think that way with this fragrance. Uh, I think Rihanna and the Fenty brand, they're gonna play it safe. They're gonna play it safe coming out the shoot with their first fragrance. I don't think they were, I don't think they would go for something that would be groundbreaking or something that's gonna change the game of fragrances. I think they just wanna get into the party, you know, say what's up, walk around, move around, get a drink, get some food, and you know, just see what the vibe is like before they start, you know, you know, rolling out with some some exquisite, unique, different type fragrances. So, some of the main accords in Fenty Fenty. All right, you got rose, musk, floral, citrus, fresh, spicy, fruity, aromatic, powdery, sweet, and patchouli. So, from what I'm seeing, um, you know, that rose note is at the top. I'm always nervous about rose. Is it going to be blended well with the musk and the floral and the citrus and the fresh, spicy? It could be. Now you got the aromatic, you got the powdery accord in here. So that lets me know that this is gonna be an even balanced uh, fragrance, all right? And uh, hopefully all of these accords are blended well in here. Uh, some of the notes, it's not many, but she has tangerine in the opening, okay? Some blueberry in the opening as well. You don't see blueberry in fragrances like that. So I'm really intrigued how this is gonna come off. All right, in the middle notes, you got some, uh, some rose some geranium and some magnolia, all right? So there's your floral component uh, in this fragrance. How is that gonna be complemented with the citrus aspect? Gonna be interesting. And down the base note, you have some musk and you have some uh, patchouli, okay? So all in all, you know, the patchouli gives you this uh, woodsy, mossy feel, and the musk uh, gives you, um, you know, I don't wanna say masculine feel, but masculine feel with some musk. So with the rose and the geranium and the magnolia mixed in with the tangerine and the blueberry, that musk and patchouli may hold this fragrance up enough to give it a little bit more life, um, you know, towards the end of it. But I'm looking forward to it. Of course, I'm a fan of Rihanna. She just been certified a billion billionaire. So um, that Fenty line is like wildfire, you know, with women, you know, especially with the the, the makeup. And then they have the lingerie line, and she even has stuff for men as well, like boxers and different things like that. But this is gonna be my introduction to Fenty because most likely I'm gonna grab this fragrance and uh, hopefully I can get a sample first 
And I gotta think they're gonna be samples everywhere because you know this brand is you know out here. So looking forward to that. All right, Fenty Fenty Eta Perfume by Rihanna on the way. It doesn't have a release date yet, but I'm assuming it is right around the corner. All right, next up, I follow an account called um, I Fragrance Official. All right, and they always updating what's coming, what's down the pike, what can we expect. And the first thing that I'm going to talk about today is something from Johnny Barbados, and I love the Johnny Barbados line. Spoke of that, spoke about that in a previous video. I have about six bottles of different Johnny V's, and I'm excited about this one. So, Johnny Barbados came up with a uh, Johnny Barbados 2020 XX or 20 line. I really don't know. I have a dec the decal of the first Johnny 2020 and I kind of broke it off. Maybe you can see it, but that's the decal. And the reason I broke it off is because it was dangling all over the place when I was putting on the frame because I was afraid it would like scratch up and dent up the bottle. And I probably was wrong on that, but that's why I got to sit here on my desk. But you have Johnny Johnny 20 XX Indigo. That is on the way. All right, some of the notes in here. Um, perfume notes are gonna be peppermint, pink pepper, lime. Himalaya Blue Rose and Rose, all right? That is going to be, um, oh, and you have more. You have some cardamom, some geranium. In the base, you got some patchouli, musk, and some vetiver. Interesting mix. It looks like this is a summer, springtime mix. So the pepper might indicate it's for fall or it might be a versatile fragrance for any time. I don't know, but I really like what I'm seeing in the uh, accords and in the, in the notes here. And I'm interested in it, man. I'm interested in the Johnny. Uh, it looked like it was like gonna be called Johnny Blue, but I believe it's called Johnny 20, Johnny Barbados 20 Indigos. Indigo. All right, so looking forward to that. Most likely that's something that I'll blind buy because I'm a fan of Johnny. Like I said, I haven't smelled but one I really didn't think was for me. I don't think it's bad, but it's just not for me. All right, but I'm definitely gonna be checking out this one. All right, um, next up on the line, what do we have that's on the way out? Of course, now I know this is some retailers in Atlanta. Um, I don't think I've seen any in Florida. I think it's available online soon, but it's none other than from Dior, the house of Dior, Dior Sauvage Elixir. And I'm putting that bottle right there. Um, now this one is interesting because of the wild success, the wild success of Dior Sauvage EDT EDP Parfum doesn't matter this fragrance is universally renowned as the goat it's not the goat to me but it's the goat to the masses because everywhere you go if there's 30 people in a room 20 of them have on Sauvage that's a fact that's a fact I'm not hating but that's a fact but new Sauvage Elixir is going to have notes it says it only has three notes. Lavender, spicy notes, and woody notes. That's what it says. Now these spicy notes, I don't know, is it gonna be a blend of peppers and cardamoms and things like that? I mean, is the woodsy, the woods gonna be, um, you know, cedar or, you know, like sandalwood, like what? You know, it's a combination of everything. It's gonna be interesting to see for sure, so. So Vaj Elixir, rumors are, and what I've seen so far on YouTube, uh, is that this fragrance is more richer, has more body, um, and it only comes in a 60 ml, and it is pricey. From what I understand, this fragrance is gonna be $190. $190, and this definitely won't make a uh, discounter. So um, I haven't seen a lot of videos on it, but from what I've been seeing, the folks who have it say it's decent. It's decent, but it's a more richer version of Dior Sauvage. All right, so we'll see how that goes. All right, another one that caught my interest while we here, I think it's like one or two more. Um, Prada Luna Rosa Oceans, all right? Now, I know this one is on the way uh, to retailers and I can't wait to check it out. Now, some of the accords and the notes in here um, are interesting, so, when you hear the name Prada Luna Rosa Ocean, and I have it right here, I mean, you think aquatic, you think oceans, I mean, you think water, you think marine-like fragrances, and the notes don't depict that, all right? You got bergamot, iris, and caramel, and vetiver. 
Again, bergamot, iris, caramel, and vetiver. That is interesting and unique all in itself. All in itself. I really want to smell it. This is product take out of blue fragrance. You got a horse, your blood of Chanel's, your Dior Sauvages. Um, you know, Nautica does a lot of blue fragrances. So for um, you know, Prada to take a stab at it and you read the notes, it really doesn't balance out to what you would expect of blue fragrance to be. But we're gonna find out. Um, so very interested in smelling the Prada Luna Rosa Oceans, okay? All right, let's see else, what else we got. Ralph's Club. Ralph's Club is another video, excuse me, a video. Another fragrance that I'm looking forward to. And I gotta say, I haven't heard the best um, reviews on this. Um, from all I hear, they say it's cool, it's decent. They have it at my local dealers. I just haven't made my way up there, but it's a brand new fragrance that might have been out a couple of weeks. Um, but some of the notes in here, lavender, clary sage, Virgin Cedarwood and Vetiver, that's it. Um, me and my friends were talking about Ralph Lauren needing to reinsert themselves in the fragrance game. You haven't had nothing polarizing probably since Polo Red. And Polo Red, Intense Polo Red, EDP, I mean, you haven't had nothing in my opinion. Like the new Polo Green, no sir, I'm not rocking with it. I mean, I guess, you know, the Polo Ultra Blue and the, it's very good to have that. And you have the Polo uh, Parfum, I've smelled it and it's cool, but from what I understand, this Ralph's Club ain't all that, man, but I'm gonna check it out because someone knows I am interested in. So the Ralph's Club, I will be checking out, all right? And last but not least on this uh, video of fragrances that are on the way, this was, was, this is one of my favorite lines, the replica brand from Mesa Mangella. This is called Autumn Vibes, okay? Very much so, uh, look into this. Top notes, cardamom, pink pepper. Middle notes, nutmeg and carrot seeds. Hmm. And the base notes, moss and cedar, all right? So very much so looking forward uh, to this one. I gotta think that this is probably a unisex uh, fragrance, but I love the replica line. I have two uh, from the replica Mesa Margiela line and I'm looking forward uh, to this one. So I'm interested to see when this one debuts. It sounds, looks like that it's on its way. Um, but I'm very much so looking forward to it. All right, so I'm gonna be doing some videos like this going forward where, you know, I'm discussing some of the new, newer fragrances that are on the way. So shout out to uh, uh, iFragrance uh, Official um, for helping me out and getting me all the information and detail that I need on some upcoming fragrances, all right? So, all right, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Again, please like, comment, subscribe. If you like the video, if you're interested in this video or my channel, um, if you know you're interested in past videos, you can check them out right after this one. And again, I just appreciate all the support that I've received so far. And um, you know, very soon, very oh man, one more, one more. I'm looking right at the juke. All right, juke throwback, and this one has got me. Top note: bergamot, cinnamon, hazelnut, orange blossom, cardamom. Tonkin bean, vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. Mm hmm. By Jupe, et de parfum. Jop, Jupe is a French Italian line. And um, I'm excited for this one. These have a lot of the ingredients that I love. All right. I know the video was almost over, but I was looking at it and it made me stop what I was doing. So, um, the Jupe, right here, the Jupe, homme, et de parfum. Look like it's going to be a winter situation all right but again y'all be safe y'all be cool like comment subscribe and we'll do this again soon this is my first time doing like early possible fragrances that are on the way and it was cool all right all right y'all be cool